Morning, everybody. Uh, we're just kicking it off, just like you know, like we never left off. Yeah. I didn't hit, forget to hit record or anything. Uh, it's Chris. It's Bill. Uh, it's been a while since we've done something like this, but we're back at the outdoor lab here at the uh, Village Links of Glen Ellen. We're gonna play nine holes, and we're gonna share a driver because you've got a very special driver in the bag. Uh, that's already, I think, in, in frame. I'm trying to do dramatic reveal. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's right. The Kirkland Signature driver. Uh, give us the, the rundown of this thing. Uh, pretty, pretty basic. Remember, this is low budget, has a carbon fiber crown, so you have a lower, deeper center of gravity. But it, the designs to be ultra forgiving, and versatile to fit a wide range of players. There's not too many bells and whistles. It is adjustable with four different lofts. Is it four? One, two, three, four lofts. Yeah, okay. A Project X even flow riptide shaft. That's a pretty nice for, for this. That's pretty nice. And a, uh, you know, the lamp can grip. But like I said, not a lot of bells and whistles. I think, uh, you know, other channels might get into deep diving like there's a big technological thing to talk about. There's not. It's a $200 <laughs> budget driver right. from Costco. Right. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna hit this thing on every par four and par five mm -hmm. uh, and see how it goes. And you've hit it already, so you have some thoughts going in. I haven't. I also haven't swung a club in weeks, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, let's get, let's go, get going. Feel so uncomfortable. Good ball, straight. What is your bracelet say? What is your bracelet say? Best dad. Because that's what I am. Careful. Now that Madeline knows, you're probably going to get one made. <gasps> Great. I now have a stack of like 16 of them in my <laughs> office. I mean, I'm not telling you it feels and sounds awesome, but out of the gate. It's pretty good. It's uh. I don't hate it. It's not bad. A little off the bottom of the club there, but still got some, some juice out of it. A little miss hit. I went straight over the trap, yeah. So. Very, very first impressions. Uh, it's fine, I think. As I said, I didn't hit it square, but it still cleared that trap. It's probably, I don't know, it probably went to 65, give or take. Good flight yeah. out of it. Little, well, uh, a good flight, you hit it on the bottom of the club face, so yeah. let's see. Because one thing I'll say, I think they come in stiff and regular flex, and it's a, it's a pretty close to one size fits all shaft. Sure. Relatively speaking. Again, it's being sold through Costco. It has to be. This isn't a club for fitting. And I said in my written review, it might be fun to tinker and throw a better shaft in there for my game. But um, it's very, I don't know, it's very soft, very light. And so it just doesn't, when I say light, balance is light. I think the weight's 60 grams, somewhere in there. Okay. But it, uh, to me, it just doesn't feel like a solid club when you're holding it at a dress. Sure, okay. Yeah, that, I not mean. Not that that means anything, it's a first shot, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw that there was a weight in the back. Are you able to replace that weight or anything? No. Oh, okay. No, nope. very one dimensional, which is fine. Well, someone's on the green, is that you? Shouldn't be, I should be the, Oh yeah, the you're right. On right, yeah. Okay. I'm assuming this clip, assuming this clip's for the Costco driver but people may not know we're also recording a video for irons it's true <laughs> it's true <laughs> they driver off the tee we're both gonna have little wedge shots yeah yeah we're playing the uh we're playing the whites today at village which we usually don't do no it's not that long yeah but whatever you whatever know. maybe that's me on the green that'd be fun they might be hitting what was it from the T? 275? 265. 265? 
There's a ball up there. Oh, no, nope, maybe this is me right here, short. You might have gone in the trees. You hit yours far. How bad is that alignment dot? Just looks so cheap. Oh my God, yeah. No idea. Oh, there it is. Straight. Get down. Right along the tree line. <clears throat> oh boy. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know if that was shaft, forgiveness, just a poor swing, but I just duck hooked. So bad. Duck took it so hard out of bounds. It's a real bummer. I gotta say, I haven't hit a duck hook like that in I'm a, I mean, to, long time. Well, let's keep in mind there, it's a new driver to us. Yeah, we yeah. like we don't hit it regularly, but that said, I do feel like, like I said on the first tee, there's sort of a lack of awareness yeah. in it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like for me, and maybe it's just what I'm used to, and that's the problem, but like, there's just no presence to the thing. Yeah, it feels know. cheap in my hands. Yeah, it feels like a $200 driver. Right. I'm not the bad, it's not terrible. No. I wanna be clear as no, it, like, no, I can no, feel no. us getting roasted. I mean, you can roast us away if you wanna get, <laughs> if you wanna but stand up for Costco, stand up for Costco. I think of like, you know, Cobra's budget driver, Obviously, Tour Edges, we speak very really highly of. Sure. And there's a lot better club to be had at this price point. So when you say it feels like a $200 driver, I do think that's a fair general statement. But right. having hit it before today and then today, I wish, I wish it felt a little less $200 driver. Yeah. Like those other ones I mentioned, you go, this is only a $200 driver? Yeah, right, right. Wow. Right. It's a terrible swing. I'll take it though. Yeah. I mean, you hit that ball, you hit it straight off that face. It's a weird, it was a cool flight. I might have hit it with the bottom of the club. Yeah, I could, yeah. Maybe with that, uh, that sole weight. Okay, another shot with the driver. Uh, I think it has some draw bias to it. I don't think it does. I think really? it's the shaft. Ah, like it's, okay. Uh, stiff shaft, 60 green. I mean, it's a, it's a soft shaft. Yeah, I mean, either way, I mean, I hit that hook, and so I kind of took a little bit off, and it drew pretty nice for me into yeah. that trap, but still. But that's, I mean, again, more people than not, right? Don't have your, you know, more people. Than, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, Most people don't have your swing speed. They wouldn't, right, they would, yeah. Right. And that'll be a little more containable. Yeah. I'll say this, it's playable. It's playable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a fine driver. It does, it does the job. I'll say that. It's not, uh, you know, I think Costco came out of the gates hot with that golf ball and everyone thought it was gonna be Titleist gear with a Kirkland signature. Maybe this driver is some version of that, but it's not a Titleist driver. It's a $200 driver, it's fine. Uh, you can hit the ball with it. I should try to do a little sh more shot shaping, but I mean, I did try to draw it, or I did hit, swing a draw swing, and it did. So that's good. Nice shot. Yeah. 
Yeah, good putt. Nice uphill lie for the driver. I know. <laughs> Let's notice that. Yeah. There she is. Play the uh Oh Costco yeah, the down slope. That thing's going forever. Of course, I got it on the wrong ang angle, but when you see it, <laughs> smashed it. Good ball. But again, I got it as we're settling in. I hit that ball very well. Center of the face. Yeah. It didn't feel good. Really? No. I think I'm gonna try to hit a fade. No. Yeah, that's, that's not a draw bias. That face is shut. I think they claim it to be neutral. Really? Very, just... They're like very square, which is, a, it's fair for a wide audience. Yeah. Straight, no draw. You hit the living daylights out of it. You hit that hard. All right. A little piece of Costco feedback, the sole doesn't grab well when you're leaning over. <laughs> Takes off review points. Smoked. Clear it. wrong with it. Yeah. But I'll tell you, <clears throat> that you... shot goes farther in my gamer. Like I mean, the, the, even still, though, you still, still. Yeah, I think it. you said it. You said it on like the second hole. It's playable. Yeah, it is playable. Yeah, it's. It's not the most powerful driver. No, no. You're not going to get maximum yardage. No, but it's pretty nice. I'm, I mean, it's but not, if you're it's at not Costco, terrible. Yeah. With two hundred dollars in your pocket and looking for get get a yourself prime some brisket. Get yourself some street tacos and a driver, man. Right. Peanut butter pie, oh my God. I want one of those right now. <laughs> oh, off the bottom. So much whip though. Stay short. Nope. So I'll say this about Costco. Sarah came out of that one a little bit. For those who don't know as if this is being recorded by my wife. Here we are. <clears throat> is going to Costco the other day. And I go, hey. She's like, you need anything else? No, I don't need anything, but uh, hey, can you bring me home one of the Costco cookies? <laughs> Didn't eat the whole thing, I split it, you know, but God, is it so good. The Costco cookie is so good. You can buy them as a single? Yeah, the big, you've never gotten the big cookie there? No, no. Get the big cookie. <laughs> so that was a good test of a clear miss hit. Did not get that ball very well, hit it off the bottom of the club, but it went straight. And uh, it might be in the trap, but still. I mean, a little bit of forgiveness in there, I'm guessing. Because uh, that was not, <laughs> was not great contact. But it still kept it in play. It didn't, didn't go crazy. So figuring it out, not bad. Decent driver for the price. I will, I will say that. I will give Costco some props on it. We got, hold on, we got a, we got a bear review. You notice the shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. The, it's uh, a collector's item. Season three. Yeah. It was good, it was good, it was a good show. But like, the highs were very high, but overall, it felt uh, sort of rushed. Yeah. A little lacking, and it was trying too hard to be the bear. The bear, yeah. See, to me, I thought, it should have been season three, part one. Because it was, it felt like it was setting everything up for the last season. Right, yeah. and I thought the last episode was bad. Napkins though, Tina story. Well, and so they give How you- great was that story? That's such it a was, episode. Yeah. but I was like, all right, so there's a reflection episode. We had like four reflection episodes. Yeah, yeah. And they're all interesting enough characters. Give me the show. Right. And then, well, that's what I mean. That's why the, the plot necessarily wasn't advanced around the restaurant. It was like, reviews coming, reviews coming, reviews well, coming, reviews coming. Well, then we have brother. the baby, and that's like, she's done. Yeah. She's done in the season. That was a good episode, too, though. 
All right, par five. Right, but it was another one that, the, it was only about two characters the whole show. Right, right. Into the wind, thing's gonna play pretty long. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's the hook. <laughs> it falls straight down? I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tried to punch it under the wind too hard, too. I did, yeah. So, last episode, setting up, obviously, for Carmi's confrontation yeah. with Joel McHale. Oh, yeah, right, right. The reflection, the whole, like, all the chefs, the real chefs with their cameos, waxing poetic. See, I like that. It only needed to be five minutes, though. I liked when uh, when Will was talking to uh, uh, what's the what's the restauranteur's name? Yeah, like, that that was hilarious. No, Luca, you're thinking of Will Poulter in real life. Yeah, Will. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I thought that was good. That was good. Like, give me more of that. Not yeah. all of them sitting at the table and they're being like, "Hey, be actors," and none of them are. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I felt like that, they, they tend to take those moments, like, look how artsy and reflective we're being in all the episodes and drawing them out too long. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And I like that, um, what's the guy's name who they, like, hired on to help with the beef window? Oh, yeah. But him and the yeah. other guy that they hired on is, like, a real famous chef. Yeah, yeah. How about John Cena showing up and killing it? Oh, the absolute, yeah. the highlight of the season. So funny. Don't haunt me, bro. Don't haunt me. Well, and I like that haunting being a com like a, a comedic bit. Yeah. But then I read a recap where they're explaining like the symbolism of haunt. I'm like, oh, oh man. no, no, no. Yeah. It's too well executed, but it was better when I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Great ball. Yeah. Shout out. Tell me, man. I'm gonna sell you my Tacoma These irons. These are good irons. <laughs> I thought it'd draw a little bit. That's why I hit it over there, but. Uh, I think they're available for roughly five to 600 bucks or so. Something really? Like that. Can't remember off the top of my mind. Man, that's. But the way you're hitting them, I'll sell you this set for 750. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you. Just launch that five iron. Can you get a good shot on the next part three with them? 800. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. Big fan. Very impressed with him. I don't like what my shirt's doing. My mic hooked up to me like that. I should put on my hat like the other YouTubers do. Maybe that, you'll see that on the, uh, by the way. Right there. See if I can get it. Shout out Clinch Golf. Best glove in the business. Best glove in the business. And towels and hats. But uh, their gloves are fantastic. All right. Going for broke here. Okay. Nice little power draw over the tree. Okay. I like it. Which will probably be. With the wind? A push shot <laughs> over to the right. second green on the 18 hole. Oh, God. turn! God. Bad angle. It's a shot though. It's a good ball. Ah, I did the same thing. Really lost this driver. What's that? I really lost the driver here in the last two holes. Uh, final thoughts from the trunk of the Prius about the uh, Kirkland signature driver, William. It's fine. It's a $200 driver. That's my feeling on it. Like the video will show, we hit plenty of good shots with it. Do I think it's 
giving you maximum distance? No. Do I think it's the best feeling, best looking driver in the world? No. But that's okay. It's $200 and it's sold by a wholesale grocer. <laughs> grocer. <laughs> right. Are you a grocer, grocery or grocery guy? I think I'm grocery. Yeah, I say grocery. grocery. I think that's a regional thing. Like some people yeah. say grocery. I like can't do it. I thought that was like British or something. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, what would you, what's a con, like, so if, so it's 200 bucks for that driver. What's a, what's a Tour Edge E723 driver going for? $250. Yeah, so to me, that's bang for your buck. If you got 50 more bucks somewhere in the couch cushions, get yourself that. But, but to, to our point, you can't pick up, uh, you know, Euros and street tacos right. while you're <laughs> buying one of those. That's the, yeah, that's the downside of Tour Edge. They don't sell Euros or street tacos. Yeah. Or apparently giant cookies. Yeah, okay. Where do you get the giant cookie? At like the, the yeah. hot dog stand? Or yeah, whatever? yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I had no idea. We get never. One. We don't. We don't do that. Well, you... We get our fruit. We get our uh, yogurt. We get our street tacos, and we get out of there. My daughter's been getting the strawberry ice cream there too. Also, really good. Really? Yeah. All right. It's good to know. Uh, anyways, that's Bill Bush at Range Heroes. You can read his written review about. The Kirkland Signature Driver at DrivingRangeHeroes.com. I'm Chris McEwen. Maybe we can drop a link in the description, too. Uh, we can do that. We, we, we you say can that do that. Yeah, one of us won't right. uh, At Chris McEwen, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, we're back doing stuff. I think the next video will probably be the, uh, the heralded Tacoma Irons. Let's go. <laughs> right. See you, everybody.